I'm here with Dr. Tony Huge. I ran into him. I thought you were in some kind of a jail in like some like third world country right now. That's what I. That's what I keep that's hearing. The rumor, yeah, that's, right? That's the other interview today. Was uh, how do you feel like you're gonna go to jail? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I saw on, on YouTube a deposition that you were doing, and someone was deposing you. Yeah, that was my deposition yeah. in a civil case. Yeah. yeah. I, I, so you're being sued now, huh? Oh yeah. No, it's been going on for a while. Right. We're right. Teething so, up. So what are you up to now? What's what's going on with the enhanced athlete? Uh, I'm focusing a lot of family and travel, as, as always. Well, you love traveling. Yeah, that. and experiments, trying to figure out what I'm going to experiment with next. Uh, fans give me a lot of advice on what to, what to experiment with Are next. Are you experimenting with different drugs still? Yeah, yeah, okay. like uh, Kratom is one that I've been experimenting okay. and with. And how, how do you like that? Uh, I'm on it right now, and I love it. What, uh, what do you feel from using Kratom? Euphoric, relaxed, focused, and creative at the same time. Do you think you might get into some of the psychedelics, you know? Yeah, uh, microdosing LSD, mushrooms, really? all these type of things. Oh, that's yeah. So that's next. So I did done a little bit of uh, mushroom done, experiments. Oh, really? Do you like which one? I know. I when I went to Amsterdam and I did mushrooms once, there was different levels of them you can do, like the, you know, the ones where you get very wise, <laughs> ones where you get like just happy. One, which ones did you use? Well, I'm very new to it, but the first uh, time I took it, I took way too much. We're talking like 20 times. Oh, it, it, it's not fun when you do too much. No, I thought it, it's that is actually dangerous. Yeah. I. I, it's almost to the point where I would have killed myself to get out of the loop I was in. I thought I was oh, really? trapped oh. inside the matrix and I couldn't get yeah, out. It only like, lasts like, last like three, four hours. Right? Yeah, yeah, thank God. I couldn't handle any more of it. But then microdosing it afterwards, wow, it's like a nootropic. It helps me focus and, and things that I'm focusing on become so much more vivid. And I, I think so it's what, a great you just nootropic. like bite little pieces of the mushroom off? Yeah, yeah, very small, very small amount. Gotcha. What about ayahuasca? Have you done that yet? No, I haven't done that it's along the same lines, but I've it's done something that, more yeah. hardcore. Yeah, well, ayahuasca is really not a fun drug. It's more of like an introspective yeah. drug. Yeah, it lasts so. a lot many more hours. You got to get ready for that. Well, you, yeah, it's a journey. You know, you, you you can't get out of that one either, though. Yeah, so. and the other experiment someone recommended to me today was a nicotine, as a in order to prevent appetite because I binge eat, diet right. starts tomorrow, yeah. and then also as for fat loss, <laughs> and then nootropic benefit, but only yeah, but a really small amount. Nicotine is very, very addictive, though. Small so that's what I got to test. Am, and do I have an addictive personality or no, not? No, yeah, I would not. I stay away from nicotine okay. if I were you. <laughs> the great thing about the, uh, the the mushrooms is they're really not addictive. No one would want to be addicted to those. Yeah, and that's the same thing with kratom, too. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like it's something, you take too much, you get nauseous, right? right. So there's kind of a built-in mm -hmm. anti-addiction mechanism. Right. Now, are you going to go to jail or you're not going to go to jail? What's, what's the latest? I don't think I'm going to go to jail. Okay. But uh, they're going to keep coming at me because what I do, I put that information right. out there that don't, a lot of people don't want put but out there. You know there. what I said to people? You know what? You've been waiting for this. You said this is going to happen from the very beginning. It's almost like, I always say, I say, do do doctor, are you, are you a doctor? <laughs> Why are you a doctor? You <laughs> yeah, don't have a medical degree. That's how the interrogation yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but... <laughs> I, I always say you got a plan before you do everything you do. Yeah, I was warned by a lot of people. I think probably even you in the beginning, yeah. like, hey, you know what? You're injecting things on camera. You're glamorizing steroids. Yeah. You got hot girls in the videos. Yeah. A lot of people, especially like Some the soccer Some of them are not girls. They there. look like girls, though. Yeah, a lot of lady boys people yeah. find very offensive. So obviously, it's going to create a lot of negative buzz yeah. against it, too. And I'm going to have to deal with those attacks. But I'm really ready for it. I've never seen a deposition like you had, though. The guy actually just didn't like you. He was like really like like nasty to you. I've never seen a lawyer do that. It's it's such a bizarre situation, and I never would have thought the the deposition would have been publis published. Yeah, neither Otherwise, did I. I would have done it. I would have made it more entertaining. Yeah. I, I was doing it for the judge, you know, because yes. this is the way the judge wanted to see this type of demeanor. Sure. But uh, next time, I promise it'll be a lot more entertaining. Yeah, I, I, I pled the fifth on nearly everything, so yeah. there's really not much information no. that came out but of what, it. So what's the purpose of doing a deposition if, if you're not going to really give them any information anyway? Well, it's not my choice to do it. It's them trying to oh. extract information oh, so they think from maybe you'll slip up and tell them something? Yeah, but really what it was all about was it was him trying to intimidate me right. to give him money. Which oh, I'm not going to do, which is ridiculous. So this is just a money thing. It's not an. It's not like a criminal thing. It's a money thing, but also in order, let's say, in order to uh, justify their position, of course, they have to demonize me, right? Because right? you can't go, you can't try to take extort money from someone nice that, that you think is that you like. So you have to demonize them. I so, see. so man, this guy just all he does is watch all of my videos, all my Snapchat, all my Instagram, Facebook, everything try to get everything censored and then try to spin it in a negative light like I'm trying to promote steroids to children. Yeah. Yeah, the funny thing <laughs> is that you're
nicest guy. Like on, on camera, like you've never like bad mouthed anyone. You're always in a good mood. You're always happy. Like so, I mean, yeah, people can say this guy's an asshole for doing this stuff on camera if they want to, but no one would ever say, man, he's a bad guy. You know, we don't no. like that guy. You know? No, yeah, and anybody, if anybody thinks I'm a bad guy, just come party with me for one night. <laughs> we will be bestest friends. We will bond in ways that you didn't know you could bond in. Are you guys going out in uh, Vegas here to have fun? Yeah, yeah, we'll be out and about. So we're gonna go watch the show gotcha. both nights. We'll be at the expo both right. days and then some partying. Uh, today I was on Kratom, so I did sort of a vlog uh, right. being here on Kratom, which okay. kind of makes me a little looser. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be on uh, something a little bit more hardcore. Like what? Uh, I'll be on GHB tomorrow. Oh wow, don't pass out. <laughs> no. You take I'll too take much of that, right you'll be, you'll, we'll find yeah, you on yeah. the floor. Because I actually have a prescription for it. You do? Oh yeah, yeah there's a pre it's a controlled one substance, right? What is yeah. it called? It's called Xyrem is the prescription. Oh, right, so you're gonna be taking a little piece of the pills all day Yeah, long? I'm just gonna take a little bit in the morning and then I'll do my videos on uh, GHB. How does one get a prescription for uh, GHB? Uh, technically, the, the main disease that's used to treat is cataplexy, where if you uh, feel fear or anxiety, you collapse and become right. paralyzed. Oh. Uh, but also for narcolepsy, and I have a problem with sleeping. Like I have a actual problem like, Staying, getting asleep, staying asleep, right, and but you're so that's. Supposed to take it before bed. You're not supposed to take it when you come to the expo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's you know. Off label, a little off label. Hey, Tony, great seeing you, man. Okay, thanks, Dave. All right. <laughs>